Wally's return after injury at number six is the only change in the Orient side, which is a mixture of youth and experience. Two 18-year-olds, Bobby Fisher at number two, and Tony Grealish at number ten, and the experience of men like Jackson in goal, and Jerry Queen and Derek Posse in the attack. Derby's experience, of course, speaks for itself, but if Orient are going to stop them, they've got to stop the midfield of Rioch, Henry Newton, and the man who the Orient manager, George Petchy, rates very highly, the captain of number eight, Archie Gamble. Good throw, there, brother. And a foul by Colin Todd. And really, Todd had no option there, because David Nish was still getting back, and he was by himself. Bolton coming. Came off Bennett. Here's Posse! Great goal! Derek Posse, the scorer! It's stemmed from a punch by Colin Bolton that Newton couldn't turn into a clearance. Bennett got a touch. It came to Posse on the left foot, and that's 1-0 in the 12th minute for the second division side. Just the start Orient were hoping for. It's coming to Posse, there goes Queen. Oh, a fine goal! Jerry Queen! 16 minutes gone and it's 2-0 to Orient. And Colin Bolton can't believe it. Two superb goals, that one by Queen, every bit as good as Posse's. Indeed, Posse helped to untouch the defence. It came on Queen's left foot, and what about that for a shot in the far corner? Bolton coming again, and again he wasn't sure with the punch, Allen's header, and again the goalkeeper scrambling. The second punch was a better one. That's how the first goal came. Here's Alan free to the left, still Bennett. Good ball, Posse. Queen! Oh, he's at the bar! What a first half Jerry Queen is having. They don't know at the back there what to do with him. Here's Todd. Oh, yes! right through Derek Downing's legs and Jackson couldn't see it. Colin Todd, the scorer, a well-struck goal. Seven minutes before half-time and Darley back in business. Derek Downing could do nothing about that. The shot went straight through him and Jackson completely unsighted. But it was well taken by Todd and it's Orient 2, Derby 1. Born. As Todd was up there again, that was Rioch. This is Newton. Lee has Gemmel. Fine shots, fizzing over the bar from Archie Gemmel. And the mood of the match switching slightly towards the end of this first half. Bennett. Fisher. Wally. Good challenge by Peter Allen. And by Queen. Downing, number three. That was good play. Oh, Fairbrother's at the post. Oh, this time Fairbrother defied by the woodwork of the Derby goal. Daniel couldn't reach it, and here's Fairbrother. Nish was the covering player. Fairbrother battling away. Todd goes down. Play goes on. Foul, was it? Posse who went down, but the referee says no. The referee signaled very clearly he thought that was a dive, and there were no complaints from Orient. Todd, Rioch, 
trying to get round Allen. Todd! Oh, it's there! Colin Todd has done it again! And the Orient faces are as crestfallen as Derby's are jubilant. Eight minutes from the end, and Colin Todd, who more than anybody else has kept Derby alive, has now scored his and their second goal. shaking their heads he had a shot it seemed to disappear for a minute in a crowd of players but it finished up in the net and that makes it 2-2 two, two. a cup tie in which the first division side almost sank in deep water in the first half but swam to safety in the second and the man who provided the life belt was Colin Todd whose performance was superb and whose two goals the second one I'm sure almost certainly deflected cancelled out that wonderful start of Orients and took us to a replay at the baseball ground next Wednesday